my dear masters and my dear gods. Today, we will be talking about the 18 guiding principles of Pyramid Spiritual Society's movement. To understand PSCSM, we have to understand the 18 guiding principles. I will re read all the 18 principles first of all, then we will discuss each principle in detail. The first principle is to meditate in the right way that is Anapanasati and to teach everyone the same Anapanasati. The second is read right spiritual books that is books by Osho, Lobsang Rampa, Castaneda, Jane Roberts, Annie Besant, Linda Goodman, Deepak Chopra, Sylvia Browne, Torkam Saladarian, Yoga and the Paramahansa, etc., etc. The third is exchange meditational and spiritual experiences with everyone who is interested. The fourth is spend as much time as possible every day in silence. Worldly gossip is absolutely forbidden. The fifth is Utilize full moon nights for intensive meditation. Today is a full moon day. The fifth principle is utilize full moon nights for intensive meditation. The sixth point is utilize pyramid energy for meditation as much as possible. Seventh is give up psychological dependence on medicines. No medicines, no doctors, only meditation energy heals. The eighth point is no meat. No fish, no eggs, be vegetarian, eat according only to need, not according to greed. The ninth point is spend, spend much time in pure nature like forests, meadows, river banks and mountains etc. The tenth point is that there is no spiritual clothing, no sacred body marks, no rituals. Eleventh, impart meditation training to children right from their early childhood. The twelfth point is learn to live as masters and never as disciples. Thirteenth, reject money exchanges in meditation training programs. Fourteenth point, no worship of idols, no worship of living masters. Fifteen, overcome all personal problems using own meditation strength. Sixteen, enjoy normal family lives, no sannyasa or no renunciation. Seventeen, Establish pyramid meditation centers in all villages, towns and cities. 18. Publish meditation experiences and personal and spiritual transformation. So these are the 18 guiding principles for all pyramid masters. Pyramid spiritual social movement is a worldwide organization now and there are thousands and thousands and lakhs of pyramid masters. For all these pyramid masters, these, the guiding principles are 18. One by one, let us discuss, let us find out a little more in detail about each and every principle. The first principle is meditate in the right way. There is only one right way of meditation. Anapanasati. There are 108 methods of meditation everywhere. Osho has spoken up about 108 methods, but what is the right method is Anapanasati. Ana means inhalation, Apana means exhalation, Sati means to be with. You have to come to the right method of meditation, which is only one. The whole world is full of various meditation methods. Out of all these meditation methods, obviously one thing must be supreme. There are many mountains, but the supreme mountain is Everest. 
Similarly, there are various meditation methods. The supreme method is Anapanasati. So, we are, we are here to teach Anapanasati, to practice Anapanasati. Our, our life purpose is learn meditation Anapanasati, practice Anapanasati, teach Anapanasati and spread Anapanasati. That is the first principle. Learn Anapanasati, practice Anapanasati, teach Anapanasati and spread Anapanasati. L, P, T, S. Le L for learning, P for practicing, T for teaching, and S for spreading. This is our first principle. Anapanasati and Anapanasati and Anapanasati only, nothing else. No other method. And there are no difficult asanas here. Sit in any comfortable posture. Sit in a chair, sit in a sofa, just clasp your hands, cross your feet, close your eyes and absorb the breathing. This is no Hatha Yoga method to hold the breath inside, no Kumbhaka whatsoever. Easy Pranayama, comfortable Pranayama, Anapanasati. So the first principle is absolutely clear, only Anapanasati, no other meditation method. We want always the best, among good, better and best, we want only the best. We reject the good, we reject the better, we, we accept the best only. The best is nothing but Anapanasati, observing the breathing. No mantras whatsoever. No chanting of any mantras. The eyes are closed, the mouth is closed, my dear friends. And the second great principle of PSSME is that read all right spiritual books. I have gained so much knowledge from reading so many books, so many masters. And we take the best out of each every each and every master. Collect the best out of each and every master and then make it a PSSM. The best of Osho, the best of Losa Branca, the best of Castaneda, the best of Jane Roberts, the best of Annie Besant, the best of Linda Goodman, the best of Deepak Chopra, the best of Sylvia Browne, the best of Torkam Saladarian, the best of Yogananda Paramahansa, and the best of everybody, every great master. The cream from every great master from every Jesus, every Buddha, every Mahavir, every Zoroaster, every Lavotsu, every Suvangsu, we take the cream, we read the cream of every great master. And that happens to be the second principle in PSSM. We have to read and 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 read. I have read more than 100,000 books, spiritual science books by great spiritual science masters. And I have got the cream of everybody. All the great masters of the earth planet, ancient and modern, medieval, all have contributed to the PSS and philosophy. So the second is called Swadhyaya, the first is Dhyana, second is Swadhyaya, and the third is Sajjana Sangatya. We are here to listen to everybody's meditation experience. We are here to listen to everybody's spiritual transformation experience. Everybody, every person is worth listening to. If there is something good, we will absorb it. If something is not good, we won't absorb it. We reject it. But we have to hear every person's, every meditator's experience. This plays a very crucial role in PSSM. We keep on listening to everybody, every fresh meditator, every budding meditator. Everybody is very significant for us, for us. Everybody is VIP for us, very important person. So we keep asking, hey guy, what is your meditation experience? You please tell us. When did you come into spirituality? Please tell us. How did you come into it? So we are eager to hear everybody.
Every person is important who is doing meditation. Every person's search for truth is important. So we would like to know the way he has gone into the search for truth. As Shankaracharya said, Srijagati Sajjana Sangati Reka Bhavati Bhavarna Bhatarane Nauka. In all the three worlds, it is meeting and listening to people who are enlightened. That is the most important thing for you to cross over your misery, suffering. So the third point is very, very crucial. It plays a major role in PA system. We listen to everybody's experience. We crave for everybody's experience, everybody's wisdom. Like a honeybee collects honey from every flower, we collect wisdom from every master and every non-master. If somebody is drinking hard and suffering a lot, and we hear him, and we see how drinking spoils people. When we hear such cases, we don't drink. When people have gone to hospitals and surgeries and not got benefit from such practices, we hear them and we don't go, we don't replicate them. But when we read, you are the placebo, then we gain from such wonderful books, such masters. We listen to everybody. This is the third point, Sajjan Sangatya. First point is Dhyana. The second point is Vajjhaya. Third point is Sajjan Sangatya. And the fourth point is silence. Like Meher Baba, like Ramana Maharshi, we are also silent people. If there is no work, we will just keep silent. We won't open our mouth. We practice silence. There is a fourth point, Mauna. First point is Dhyana. Second point is Swadhyaya. Third point is Sajjan Sangatya. Fourth point is Mauna. We don't blah blah all the while. We are frugal in speaking. What we know, we speak. What we don't know, we say, we are silent. We don't know, Baba. We are yet to learn about that. We keep silent about that. And the fifth point is, utilize full moon nights. Today is a full moon day. Every full moon, there is so much energy in the nature. The full moon time beckons everybody. Hey, guy. Sit more time in meditation. Access more energy. Today is full moon. Don't miss this full moon. In Sri Lanka, every full moon is a national holiday. Because they are expected to do meditation. Every full moon. So in Sri Lanka, every full moon is a national holiday. You are required to do more and more meditation on that day. And in the future, like in Sri Lanka, the whole earth will follow the national holidays on full moon days. So that everybody will go into more and more meditation. That is going to happen. So the fifth point is utilize full moon nights for intensive meditation. The sixth point is major point for PSSM is utilizing pyramid energy. I have read a book in the 80s, The Secret Search in Egypt by Paul, Dr. Dr. Paul Brunton, who, who spent one whole night in the Great Pyramid in Gizeh, and he had written his experience. The Great Pyramid Energy gave him a wonderful experience. Dr. Paul Brunton, and later on, I started reading many, many pyramid books, pyramid energy books. and. In the year 1990, we built the first pyramid in Karnul. The second pyramid was built in Uravakonda. The third pyramid in Anantapur. 
Now there are almost 20,000 pyramids PSSM has built in various places, various villages, towns and countries. Pyramid spiritual social movement is based on the pyramid energy. In every house there should be pyramids. Pyramids are huge reservoirs of cosmic energy, amplified cosmic energy. Pyramids are great examples of sacred geometry. One of the main functions of pyramid spiritual society movement is to build pyramids everywhere. Small pyramids, huge pyramids. In Bengaluru, we've got a huge pyramid where 5,000 people can sit. It is called as the Maitreya Buddha Pyramid. In Hyderabad, we've got a huge pyramid called as the Maheshwara Pyramid. In Rajamandri, we are constructing a pyramid called as the Vasishta Gautami Pyramid. Huge pyramid. Pyramid energy is crucial, absolutely, for pyramid spiritual social movement masters, PSSM masters. Every room there should be pyramids, small, small pyramids, big, big pyramids, and one should meditate utilizing the pyramid energy. With the pyramid energy, your meditation is thrice more powerful. Pyramids unify the energy grid in all the galactic systems. Pyramid spiritual society movement endeavors to educate people on pyramid energy, the greatness of pyramid energy. So the sixth point is pyramid energy, my dear friends. When you sleep inside a pyramid, your sleep is thrice more powerful. If you require six hours of sleep every day, within the pyramid, only two hours are enough for you to have the same amount of energy, correct? Without pyramid, if you do, <coughs> if you need meditation for six hours, within pyramid, only two hours are enough. When you drink pyramid water, you become very fresh. There are multiple uses. The whole earth is now entering the pyramid age. And PSSM is the premier organization in the whole world constructing pyramids. We welcome you. We welcome you to our website pyramidseverywhere.org. Please visit all our websites, PSSM websites. And you will see the whole work being done by PSSM masters. And the seventh point is, we don't go for medicines at all, unless it is emergency. In the normal conditions, we refuse to take medicines. We heal our headache, we heal our cancer, we heal our BP only through meditation strength. Pyramid masters, they don't run to doctors, they don't go to hospital, they don't undertake surgeries, they heal themselves. We are all gods. We have to access our own God energy. How do we access our own God's energy, infinite energy, through meditation? Whatever may be the body's problem, whatever may be the mental problem, emotional problem, depression problem, we overcome those things through meditation strength. We don't run from pillar to post, sorry. With all due respect to all doctors and medicines, we don't go to them at all. We are dependent upon our own strength. This is the seventh point for PSSM. We don't go to allopathy doctors, we don't go to homeopathy doctors, we don't go to Ayurvedic doctors. We don't go to any healers. We heal ourselves. Any problem is there, we just close our eyes, 
and we observe our breathing and we get healed. We have faith in our own meditation. And the faith heals. And the meditation heals. And the cosmic energy heals. Anapanasati is the way for meditation and it heals every problem. We don't go to any doctors. We don't take any medicines. We don't go to any hospitals. We don't take, go to, undergo, undertake any surgeons, surgeries. We are pyramid masters. Any problem, emotional problem, physical problem, mental problem, anything, we just close our eyes to observe the breathing. Meditation heals. Meditation alone helps. Meditation alone treats us. That is the seventh point, my dear friends. Eighth point, we are pure vegetarians. No meat, no fish, no eggs. And even vegetarian food also, we eat according to need, not according to our greed. PSSM's main intention is to convert the whole mankind into vegetarians. Animals are being cruelly treated, killed, massacred, and that is the source of all the human problems. That massacre of animals for food, for sport, my goodness. How dare you kill an animal? How dare you kill a bird? How dare you kill a fish? The pyramid spiritual society movement will work until the last human being also becomes non cruel becomes humane, becomes a vegetarian. Plant food is the only right food. This is the eighth point for PSSM, very, very important point. I have been a vegetarian since my childhood. Our whole family is a vegetarian family. We can't even see the meat. We are repelled by the sight of meat. Before I came into meditation, I was eating a few eggs. But after I came into meditation, I stopped eating eggs. No eggs. The ninth point is to spend much time in pure nature, forests, mountains, river banks, meadows, go into the nature. In PSSM, we got forest trekkings. I have taken so many people into the forest for two days, for three days, for one week doing, for doing forest meditation, nature meditation. Living with the nature is the ninth point. Tenth point, no special clothing, no special marks on the body. No showing up our spirituality to others. We don't care for showing others what we are. Either by our dress or our by body marks. No. We dress normally. We live simply, normally. There is no show off. There is no exhibition. And the eleventh point is we teach the meditation right from childhood, right from the age of five. Meditation is for all the people, the children, the adults, the oldies, and the about to die people. Only babies are excluded. We impart meditation training to children right from their early childhood. 
catch them in that is our motto that is the 11th principle the 12th principle is that we are not disciples of anybody we are masters in our own rights everybody who enters meditation is a master first day you have entered meditation you have practiced meditation you become a one day master then there are two day masters then there are one month masters then there are long time masters but all are masters nobody is a disciple of any person the disciplehood is not there nobody is my disciple and i am not disciple to anybody i am a master and you are a master we are all equal level masters a master is a person who is non killing non violent non interfering and doing a meditation if you are killing if you are violating if you are interfering you are not a master if you are not doing meditation you are not a master but if you are non killing if you are non violent if you are not interfering and if you are doing regular meditation you are a master we are all here to learn to live as masters never are disciples of anybody nobody is important we are not disciples of buddha we are not disciples of jesus we are masters in our own rights because we are dedicated to non killing we are dedicated to non violence we are dedicated to non interference and we are dedicated to anapanasati meditation we are dedicated to healing ourselves by our own strength so we are masters we have learned to live as masters and we are not here to be a disciple to anybody and 13th point we reject money exchanges we don't charge any money like the breath air is air to breathe is free like the water is free meditation is free whoever comes to us we teach meditation we go everywhere and teach meditation 24 by 7 we are available for teaching meditation free of cost money doesn't come into the equation at all this is a very very great point with pssm we don't care for money we care for only spreading the truth compassion is our nature whoever is coming to us to learn meditation even in the midnight we teach meditation and we don't expect anything in return karmaniya vadikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phale hetur bormati sangosva karmani we do our duty our karma and without any expectations we teach everybody whoever is interested in it many people are not interested in it and we don't care for them and many more people are interested in meditation we do care for them we teach them with all our energy and whatever money they give out of their own love that is accepted but there is no charging money there is no it's not a prerequisite in the 14 point is no worship of idols and no worship of living masters we are against worship our motto is work is worship worship is not worship work is worship we work and work and work and work and work we do meditation we spread meditation we teach meditation we spread vegetarianism we spread spiritual science science concepts you create your own reality we hammer that in everybody's brain you are responsible for your own life you create your own reality now set right yourself set right your thinking set right your talking set right your speech set right your doings be vegetarian and you will be happy no idols are worshiped and no living masters are worshiped the 15th point is we overcome all our personal problems using own meditation strength any personal problem we go into meditation the personal problem may be physical may be emotional may be mental may be intellectual may be financial may be social any problem 
we just close our eyes, observe the breathing and the problem vanishes in due course. We have seen that in all the prayer masters, before they come into meditation, they have got enough number of personal problems, but after they come into meditation, they have dissolved all their personal problems. So the 15th point is, my dear friends, overcoming personal problems using own meditation strength. For all our problems, the answer is meditation. For all our questions, the answer is meditation. And the 16th point is, we enjoy normal sexual family lives. We believe in sex. We enjoy our sex. We enjoy our families. No renunciation for us. No sannyasa is for us. We are born into, through sex. We are of the sex. We are by the sex. We are for the sex. We are of the family. We are by the family. We are for the family. No sannyasa in pyramid spiritual society moment. We are against that concept. There is nothing to be renounced. We are here to enjoy our life. Total enjoyment. Total entertainment. Total enlightenment. Three E's are the enjoyment with the body, entertainment with the mind, and enlightenment with the intellect. So that is the 16th point. We are all normal family life people. We enjoy our sex. We are born through the sex of our parents. Sex is beautiful. Sex is wonderful. So that is the great 16th point of PSSM masters. The 17th point is we establish permanent meditation centers everywhere in all the villages, towns and cities. Wherever we get an opportunity, we create meditation centers, pyramid meditation centers. That is the great 7th point, 17th point. We have any number of pyramid meditation centers all over India and many places in the world. Wherever there is a pyramid master, there is a pyramid meditation center. A room with a few villages, a few pyramids becomes a pyramid meditation center. The 18th point is we publish our meditation experiences. We've got our magazines. In English, we've got two magazines, Spiritual India and Spiritual Science. We've got Telugu, Dhyana Jagat. We've got Hindi. Pyramid Dhyana Jagat, we got in Kannada, we, we got in Tamil magazines. We print many books translating from English to Telugu, natural, our Indian languages. And we publish, publish so much literature and we freely give it to everybody. That is our 18th point. So, my dear friends, these are all the 18th guiding principles of PSSM. Let me repeat again. The first one, is, first one is Anapanasati meditation. Learn meditation, learn Anapanasati, do Anapanasati, teach Anapanasati, spread Anapanasati. The second is read all the right spiritual books. Osho, Globes and Rampa, Carlos Kastnada, Jane Roberts, Andy Peasant, Lidbaran, Linda Goodman, Deepak Chopra, G.T. Suzuki, Alan Watts, so many people. Ruth Montgomery, Shirley MacLaine, Ledbetter, Andy Peasant, Blavatsky. So many masters, n number of masters, and listening to everybody's experience, that is the third point. And my silence, practicing silence, fourth point. Utilizing full moon nights, fifth point. Utilizing pyramid energy, sixth point. No doctors, no medicines, the seventh point. No meat, no fish, no eggs, eighth point. Spending time in pure nature, ninth point. No spiritual clothing, no sacred body marks, no rituals, tenth point. Imparting meditation training to children, right from their child, early childhood, eleventh point. Twelfth point, learning to live as masters and never as disciples of anybody. That is by rejecting all money exchanges in meditation training programs. Fourteenth point, no worship of idols, no worship of living masters. Fifteenth point. Overcoming all personal problems using own meditation strength. Sixteenth point, enjoying normal family lives. No sannyasa, no renunciation. Seventeenth point, establishing pyramid meditation centers in all villages, towns and cities. Eighteenth, publishing meditational experiences and personal spiritual transformation in all our magazines and books. Thank you very much, my dear friends. This is about the eighteen guiding principles of PSSM, Pyramid Spiritual Society's movement. Please. 
going to all our website pssmovement.org pyramids everywhere enlightenment everywhere so many websites are there please access all our pyramid websites and some day or other the whole earth will become pssm everybody this is the charter for whole of mankind within 10 years the whole world will become pssm i am sure of that because truth alone will triumph and this is the truth thank you very much my dear friends